Hi everybody. This is my 29 gallon miscellaneous tank and for those of you that follow along you'll know that I added a couple of new angelfish to this tank recently and I was having a little bit of issues with aggression so as a quick update I will just say that everybody is getting along just fine. The aggression sorted itself out within a day or two and you can see everybody's just hanging out and doing their thing so I'm really happy about that but I was just doing a water top off I can't quite bring myself to get motivated enough to do an actual water and filter change right now so I was just topping the tank off and it reminded me of a comment I heard recently from someone and they told me that they didn't need to do water changes on their tank because they could simply just keep topping their tank off. They kept their tank warm, the water evaporated quickly, and they had to add three or four gallons of water each week, and therefore they didn't need to do water changes. Now, I'm sure some of you are probably laughing at that, but others of you are probably thinking, well, that's right, isn't it? Um, I've heard quite a few people over the years say things along that line and, and some misunderstandings about using uh, top-off water and topping off your tanks between water changes. So I just thought since I was doing it, I would go ahead and talk about it a little bit. The reason it is important, even if you do add fresh water to your aquarium, then you still need to do water changes. Uh, the reason being is that as that water evaporates out of your tank, only the water is evaporating out of your tank. All of the nitrates that build up in your tank, all of the other dissolved solids, the phosphorus, and you know, pretty much anything, the fish waste, all of that builds up in your tank. And as it does so, it increases the likelihood that your fish will become ill, it increases the likelihood of oxygen deprivation, algal blooms, there's all sorts of things that happen as those nutrient levels start getting really high and that's the reason we do water changes on our tank to keep those levels low. So when the water evaporates out of our tank between water changes it's not taking any of that stuff with it. Only the water is evaporating so when you add new water back in, you're not removing anything bad. In my case, I use RO water. So when I add water back in, I'm not really adding anything additional. I'm just topping the tank back off. And that's the important part. That's what this whole video really is about. I am distilling down what's in the tank as far as what the fish are producing and waste that's being produced in the tank. I'm not adding anything to it. If I were using tap water that had, say, 12 degrees hardness, for example, if I had a bunch of calcium and magnesium dissolved in my water, well, I'd be putting that in the tank. And then as the water evaporates out, it would leave all of that stuff behind. And I would do another top off, and I would add more calcium and magnesium, which would then get left behind. And I would add more calcium and magnesium and you would be making your water harder and harder and harder and then eventually one day if you did do a water change there would be a huge shift in the water's hardness or whatever so remember as your tank loses water that's all it is losing it is only losing the water you are actually distilling down everything that's in your tank so in my case I use RO water I recommend using RO water uh, I don't really recommend using distilled water. If you're going to use that as something like a pure top-off water, I would simply use something like um, RO water. You can get bottled RO water or purified water. Don't get distilled water. Distilled water is a little too pure uh, and a little too harsh to put in a tank, even if you are just using it as top-off water. I just don't trust it. It's probably safe, but I just don't use distilled water for anything uh, other than calibrating uh, pH testers and things like that. But if you're using RO water, you're not adding to what's in the tank. You're simply bringing the water level back up to its original volume and you're actually diluting what's in the tank. But what's in the tank will continue to increase. You know, the nitrates are building up, the phosphates are building up, and all of that stuff does need to come out of there. So water changes are necessary whether you have to top your tank off frequently or not. If you have to do three top-offs a week, you should still do a water change each week because you're really distilling down that water quite a bit. If you don't have to do a top-off during your week, you should still do a water change each week because all of those nutrients are still building up in there. Just because you haven't added any fresh water doesn't mean the nutrients and pollutants are not still 
um, you know, accumulating in the tank. So there is no way to avoid doing water changes for the most part. You really still need to get in there and do them. So that was supposed to be a little quick tip. I know as usual I rambled a little longer than I thought, but I've actually kind of enjoyed standing here watching these fish. I don't spend a lot of time uh, looking at this tank anymore for some reason. I guess it's just one of my older tanks and I just kind of take it for granted now. So anyway, thanks a lot for listening to my rambling on. I hope that little tip was helpful to somebody and makes a little more sense of the whole water change and, you know, topping off and the distilling down and all of that good stuff. So thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you real soon on the next one.